Welcome to Track Tested Motorsports. My name is Jack. I'm Boris. And Boris, what do we have here? It looks like a Porsche GT3, but I'm not familiar with the model. Yeah, yet, so this is actually my favorite GT3. Uh, it's last of the narrow bodies. It's a, this particular one is a 2007 997 series.1. Um, I believe it was in uh, 08 or 09 that two came out um, with, some, with some minor upgrades. But this is a very unique car. Uh, belongs to uh, a good friend of mine, Dr. D'Souza. Um, I met him at Audubon a few years ago when he had a different car. But I've had, I had the joy of driving this car at Mid-Ohio and Road America. It's certainly uh, met, actually exceeded all my expectations. I didn't think a 997.1 could perform at this level. So we'll get into the modifications uh, in, a, in a little bit. But uh, first, let's talk about the interior. Um, this is the only GT3 uh, that I'm aware of that has a GT2 seats in it um, with, uh, with harnesses. And also, the only one I know of that has a Porsche Tech Equipment OEM uh, roll bar slash uh, harness bar made out of chromoly, which is quite light. Uh, so, so we got quite a bit of safety built into the score. You know, at Track Tested Motorsports, we're always talking about safety first. And with these seats, which really hold you in the car, and, and that uh, a roll bar and harness bar, that really helps a driver perform at a much higher level. Uh, you know, most of the, the interior otherwise is stock. The center, the center console has been refinished in white to match the exterior. Otherwise, the stock, uh, the interior is fairly stock. Okay, let's go back to the outside. Hey, look, Dr. D'Souza just showed up. Let's, uh, let's bring him into the frame here. Hey, Noreen, how you doing? Good hey, Boris, how are you? Was it between surgeries or, doc or appointments? Yes, we're doing some work this weekend, but yeah. came by to see my car here. As you know, I've had this car since uh, 2018, and there's an old saying that once you buy a GT3, you become a pilot, and that is truly the case. A car like this forces you to become a better driver and rewards uh, interest in driving efficiently. So for the last few years, I've been improving my level of driving to the capabilities of this car. Uh, I don't think I'm quite there yet. Uh, I, I think you're really- Boris has helped me quite a bit on that. Yeah, he's uh, a great student. Uh, he, so. He's an instructor, he's a PCA instructor himself. So, so clearly he's a very skilled driver. You know, while we're, ta we're talking yeah. about the car, um, and uh, while you're here, I know you know a lot about the car because it's been, you know, one of your one of your hobbies to improve the car. So why don't you? I, I talked about the seats and and the roll bar. Why don't you tell our audience a bit about the other modifications, sure, sure. wheels, etc. Uh, well, just to follow up a little bit about the seats, they are Porsche stock seats. Um, in addition to the bucket design, which really holds you into place. They actually have the side airbags. So from a safety oh. standpoint, uh, and that's all integrated with the safety systems in the car. Uh, that was actually a big selling point for my wife uh, when she got the price, the price tag for this uh, seats. She said, go for it. But in addition to safety, um, the other modifications that have been done to the car were done in a way to more enhance the underlying characteristics rather than changing it to some other beast. So, Having said that, one of the big upgrades, again, from a safety standpoint, are the uh, gyro discs on the front. Uh, they are carrying a high-performance pad. They are the Ferodo DS 3.12. Uh, they are primarily for driving on the track, but they can also be used on the street. Uh, one good thing about these particular pads, they don't actually make a lot of noise, like a lot of track pads do. Um, coming towards the back, I'm going to talk about the tires a little bit oh, while we're here. Yeah, so they do have the uh, Michelin Cup 2 tires on, uh, again, primarily for driving on the track, but if you're on the street and it's not too wet, uh, you can make your way safely with them. Got the OZ racing wheels on, lightweight, uh, you know, set up with the standard offset for the GT3 uh, wheelbase. And also the studs. And the studs. Which makes it much easier to, to put them to remove and reinstall the wheels. That's and correct. while we're in front, yep. in front, can you talk about the, uh, the suspension? Yes, so the suspension in the front has been modified with a road supply suspension, lower control arm, uh, as well as tow links. And the alignment uh, was set as a hybrid street setup. It's been corner balanced for a 180 pound uh, driver. Uh, so it can be driven on the street quite comfortably, but enough of a camber setup to uh, 
efficiently drive on the on the track as well when we're talking about driving on the street one of the cool things about porsches for non porsche owners is the fact that the front trunk or front as we call it is quite large and deep so you can yes. actually you can actually it. take your box of track uh, accoutrements <laughs> and easily fit it into the front you know things like wrenches screwdrivers tire pressure monitors etc yeah uh, the typical things that most uh, gentlemen track day drivers would have all right well, let's go to the back Jack, can you follow us to the back please Is that open? yes well you can talk about the arrow i'll open it talk about the arrow because you've added some arrow there yes so this is the stock wing setup. It is at its maximum attack. Increases the downforce on the rear by approximately 11 pounds. And, and it's it easily adjustable. adjustable. And it's adjustable. Thanks to that modification Joe made. With some Allen bolts on the yeah, back side. Right here. Correct. Yes. And then we can see the motor. The and like most Porsches, there's not a lot you not can see. Not a lot to see on this one. <laughs> More than on the 991 Gen, which looks like it's powered by two fans. However, there's a lot that's been done to this yes. motor. So the internals of this motor are completely stock. Uh, the external modifications include a Sharkwork center uh, exhaust delete. Uh, it also has an EVOMS header system uh, and an ECU tune matched for a 93 octane fuel. Uh, it is easily adjustable for a 91 or if someone wanted to have a 100 octane uh, tune as well that can be accommodated but essentially like I said the car's been set up to be a street driver maximizing its performance for the track without making it too peaky or too difficult how much horsepower approximately everybody wants to know how much power do you have some idea yeah that? so this car is making approximately uh, 440 horsepower uh, at the crank and probably a little under 400 at the rear wheels Stock, I believe there were 415. 415 was stock, that's correct. And I looked up the weight, 3,045 pounds. That's correct. And you're just one of the lighter ones because you don't have a lot of... Correct. So this car, during the corner balancing, uh, including the 100 pound or 180 pound weight for the driver and a half a tank of fuel, actually came in at just under 3,100 pounds. Which is quite light. Very light car. As opposed to the new ones, or even that 991. You know, they've gained quite a bit of weight as they got bigger just like me yes <laughs> we um, all we all are getting bigger yeah i think that hits the highlights doesn't it yes one thing i should point out unlike all other gt3s of subsequent generations these did come with sunroofs <laughs> i don't know why but they're still on the 997.1 gt3s and it is functional i personally like sunroofs it's kind of cool it sometimes you may need to bail out to the roof that is true. It's a good option to have. This car has never been in any situation that would require any bailing out of. No <laughs> impacts. Good to have plan B. Yes. Yeah. No impacts, no major offs. Yeah. It's an awesome car. Thank you. I hope you keep it for a really, really, really long time. That's so up we to can have some more fun <laughs> in it. That's up to the wife to decide if I get to keep this one. <laughs>